grinding group. I'd like to thank everyone for coming out tonight. My name is Eric, and I'm incredibly grateful and humbled to be standing here as Adam's best man today. It's a funny thing, when Adam asked me to be his best man a few months ago, I was incredibly thrilled, and of course I said yes. But as I started thinking a little bit more about it, I started thinking about the term best man. And it was a little confusing, because if I was truly the best man, then why did Vicky marry Adam? <laughs> so, I sit here today, before you, and say today, I'm truly just a pretty good man. And Adam tonight is truly the best man. Now before I continue, I want to take a quick moment to thank everybody that came out and made this an incredibly special and perfect night for both Adam and Vicky. To Vicky's parents, Valentina and Misha, to Adam's parents, Chuck and Shirley, to the beautiful and lovely bridesmaids, to my boys in blue, <laughs> to everyone that traveled both near and far to be here, I know that your presence has meant a lot to Adam and Vicki, and so I truly thank you. Vicki, you look absolutely stunning tonight. Am I right? Should we go? Adam? <laughs> It's rare to find someone so intelligent, someone funny, creative, genuine, very mindful, someone that goes after their goals every single day and just accomplishes them whenever they want. But enough about me. <laughs> Today I'm gonna to talk about my good friend Adam. <laughs> and a quick disclaimer here. I've known Adam since I'm five. Pretty much 26 years, almost three decades. So if anyone has had a huge part in helping develop my sense of humor, it's been Adam. And so if you haven't found this speech to be funny, please pass the blame over there. <laughs> in all serious though, Adam, you're my brother, you're my best friend. We've been through an incredible amount of just good times and experiences from playing on our basketball team to starting a pop punk band in high school where we, uh, I think we started playing live shows without even knowing how to play guitar or bass. Uh, yeah, you can imagine how good we were. <laughs> For those of you that attended those shows, I'm sorry. Uh, from, you know, going to college together and living the college life, I'll keep those memories to myself. But I think even over the last 30 years, you probably saved my life like three times. So I, I truly appreciate that. Um, but the thing is, it never mattered how close we were, how far away we were. You know, last three and a half years I was in California. Our friendship has continued to grow and develop. And I'm truly, truly grateful for that. You've always had my back. And today you've been the greatest friend I could have ever asked for. I truly love you. As you know, one of the things I think about is, you know, there's a saying that you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And I truly believe that and take that, you know, very seriously. And I hope that you're in my top five for the rest of my life. Vicky, again, you look absolutely beautiful. Adam, so lucky to have found such a warm, charming, wonderful partner in life. I'm truly honored that you both have involved me and made me a part of your special day tonight. Now before we raise our glasses to the bride and groom, I want you to join me in a quick practice that both Adam, Vicki, and myself do almost every day. Just take a moment right now, please, and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Just be in this moment right now. The happiest day in Adam and Vicky's life. Now open your eyes and look around. 
Never in the history of the universe will the same exact people in this room be together like this. And tonight we get to experience that celebrating such incredible love and such an amazing partnership that you guys have built. And it's, it's awesome. It's, it's, I'm incredibly grateful for that. So now it gives me immense pleasure to invite you all to stand, please, and raise your glasses to Adam and Vicki, or as they shall now be known moving forward, as Mr. and Mrs. Moskowitz. And you both live as long as you want and never want as long as you live. And in the great words of the Grateful Dead, <laughs> there's nothing left to do but smile and drink and dance. And I am the Cheers, camera. <laughs>